Cheers, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon and Booze, where we explore the wonderful world of booze, bourbon, and every other booze. liquor, and coffee, and cocktails, and really bad jokes. And aperitifs. And... Aperitifs. Uh, so today is Tuesday, and we are going to explore um, one of my favorite uh, whiskeys. Uh, really enjoy this so if you like what we do make sure you hit the like and subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell as we drop a video every day at noon Monday through Friday so today we're looking at green spot I really like green spot this is an Irish whiskey um, there is a spot series uh, there's the yellow spot which is still available in stores and affordable there's the blue spot which is imaginary um, it's a unicorn. You can barely you find, find it. it. Yeah. And then there's the red spot, which is the high end, and it's pretty hard to find too, at least in our area. And it's also pretty expensive. Uh, Green Spot is from Mitchell and Sons, which I think is associated with Jameson in some way. There's only was until recently only three major distillers in uh, Ireland and it's kind of expanded a lot and Jameson was one of them uh, I think uh, Teeling was the other was it um, distillers or distributors distillers because I thought that like they would buy up all of the whiskey and repackage it as their own I, I might be wrong well, about that yeah, you're wrong. Um, Ireland, for a long time uh, in the past, recent past, was mostly down to just three distillers, and but lots of blenders. They still did uh, <clears throat> the uh, where stores would buy and blend and package it as their own. But Jameson is probably the biggest. But uh, the spots. But it's all the same distiller and not. Right. Because it's kind of the opposite in Scotland where there's a lot of yeah. distilleries and big companies buy from all the distilleries. And right. And now um, more and more distillers and more and more companies are popping up in Ireland. So we've tried Whistler and Hellcat Maggie and uh, I mean we have a bunch here. The Irishman, Wolfhound. I mean there's so many Irish whiskeys. Uh, Rider's Tears is one of my favorites. So, I've never been a real big Jameson fan, but I'm starting to appreciate it and kind of explore. I've, I've had quite a few of their um, variations recently, and they're all right. So this is from uh, the Spot Distillery. It's a kind of expensive. So this is their low-end one, and it's $58.99. So 60 bucks basically for their low end. So you can imagine how the yellow, blue, and the red spot gonna be a lot more escalate expensive. quite a bit. So at $58.99, there's definitely a one barrel on cost. It's proof is 40% or 80 proof. So average, I think that's pretty average or pretty Standard. Standard for Irish whiskeys. Yeah. There is some Irish single malts that are a lot uh, more, um, I don't know, uh, higher proof. Well, and really, most whiskeys are like 80 proof. Right? Yeah. So this is Irish whiskey, so it's pot stilled. No age statement, it's a blend. I really like the spots. I've had the yellow i've never had the red and i've never even seen the blue and so where did you get this one from our local store up in arlington or wherever yeah all right so let's go ahead and do the um review obviously one barrel for at 58.99 for cost It's got a great aroma, and I, I think that you can identify, or eventually, you can identify 
um, Irish whiskeys versus anybody else. I think it's it's getting easier for me to identify bourbons versus whiskeys versus Irish whiskeys versus scotches. Excuse me. Bless you. <laughs> it's a cough. So, at $58.99, it's a one barrel for cost. For aroma, I'm giving it a 3.5. You're giving it a 4. It's got a really nice, mild, pleasant okay. aroma. Anything else? I got a little bit of the... There's a little bit of caramel in there. Okay, caramel. Some honey. Hmm. Okay. And now that... I didn't put any water in it. But now I tasted it. You know how when you taste it, it kind of changes the aroma a little bit? Mm-hmm. You well, you, you start getting used to that aroma. But I got a little more alcohol flavor in the aroma. Okay. I'm giving it 3.5, so basically the same as you. I get a little vanilla, spearmint, just a, a touch of spearmint, um, and some floral action there. Couldn't really identify the floral on the nose, but on the taste, I kind of get it as a lavender. And I think also on the aroma, I got a little tiny bit of dried cherry okay not a lot just a just a barely a hint or dried fruit it might not be cherry but it's kind okay of like a dried fruit for flavor i'm giving it a four you're giving it 3.5 so we just flipped our score what do you think about the flavor anything to I add thought there was like a little bit of the shortbread baked okay goods a little herbal tea in there not a lot, just like a little hint. Okay. And then, I can't write what I wrote down there. Pot. Oh. You put pot in big words there. Oh, I don't. I don't get any of that. That's my. Just that it's a. a pot still. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and a little bit of pecan in there. Oh. Hm. Little. There's a little nuttiness. It's not like. I'll go with nuttiness, the, but not. It's not really getting the pecan. I didn't know what. It's not that peanut that I normally get. It's something, but I can see that little nuttiness. Yeah, yeah. It's not. I just put pecan because there is some nuttiness, and I didn't know really okay. which one to put on there. I agree with all of that. I also am picking up that lavender on the mm -hmm. the floral lavender. It's very silky, and also um, got a touch of sweetness to it, which is probably that honey vanilla yeah. kind of thing that you got. For uh, bite, I give it a 3.5. I don't know that it's got a lot of bite, a little lingering. You're giving it a three. Uh, so this gives us each a rating of three overall. I got a 12, you got 11.5. The cost is killing it. This is not a three barrel. I, I boosted it up a full to a four, but I don't know what you want to do. We can go three and a half to four. I would... I'd give it a four. Okay. So in the end, this is a four. Um, it is by far a really good pickup for Irish whiskey. It's, I think it's way above Jameson, the regular Jameson. I just think that uh, there's a big difference with Jameson. And the thing is, it's like, it's been quite a while since I've had Jameson, so. Really? This is my second bottle that I had to buy because somebody drank my first one. Cody. Well, I know who it was. <laughs> well, my first bottle got stolen. Or drank. This is my bottle. Don't be giving me that. <laughs> this is my bottle. Because the first one, I oh. have a child, and it's not Cody. They drank it all. Totally different. Yeah, totally different. This is much more aromatic, a lot more, aroma, lot more, aroma, lot more like, going on the nose. Silky and flavorful. Got a great mouthfeel. This is flavorful, but it's a little bit more muted. 
and a little bit more astringent or medicinal to me. Yeah, kind of a little more like, um, I want to say, I don't know if this is the right wor word, maybe it's because it's the mash, it's a little more charcoal-y. Okay. A little more, um, bold. Bold, a little, and I don't want to say burnt, but you can taste right. that kind of like. And normally we don't review or compare. I mean, you can't really compare scotches because there's so many different regions and yeah. stuff like that. There's no, there's, I mean, I guess you could compare a smokiness like a Lafroy to a Ardbeg or a Peat Monster or something like that. And you can't really compare bourbons or, or American whiskeys or Canadian whiskeys. But when you come to Irish, well, Jameson I, is like the standard in every bar and everybody thinks Jameson right away. So it's well, kind of easy to do. I think you can compare them. like Jack Daniels to Jim Bean. Mm, possibly. Jim yeah. Bean's Kentucky, Jack's Tennessee, a whole different process. Yeah, but people are like, some people are yeah. Jim Bean and it's like you can kind of try to figure out why they like one above right. the other. Right, but I think that would be a really disingenuous and unfair to try to take one standard like Jack Daniels and compare everything to it. Yeah. But in Irish whiskey, at this moment in time, you could almost do that as take Irish uh, Jameson and compare everything to it. I think and the Jameson better. with a little drop of water is yeah. actually a lot better. All right, tell us what you think. What's your favorite Irish whiskey? Uh, I'm a big Green Spot fan, huge fan. There's a couple that I like better than Green Spot, but tell us what you think. Uh, tell us what you think about Jameson compared to all of these other. Are we completely off the, the path here? Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Um, check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and merchandise, and all of our other episodes Monday through Friday. Coffee time on Wednesdays, cocktails on Friday, and then alcohol the other three days. Uh, remember, there's no bad whiskey. There's only great whiskey. Sorry, I jumped right to it, didn't I? Yeah. Remember, there's no bad whiskey. There's only good whiskey and great whiskey, and this is this great, great whiskey to great me. Great whiskey. Cheers. Later's.